Hey there, I'm Craig from Cloudflare. You know Cloudflare, right? I'm guessing we have a very good relationship already, even if you can't quite put your finger on how you know us exactly. Now, most of the time when we show up, it's for a really good reason. We're probably stopping someone from attacking your site, or we're helping you speed up your content by caching it on our global network. Or maybe you saw one of our super technical blog posts that made you understand the internet a little bit deeper. Seriously, you should check out that blog. However we know each other, we're so glad you're here with us. Do you mind if I rant for a bit? Look, I'm a developer. I love being a developer. I am obsessed with building. I'm assuming you're on a software development team of some sort. It's not just me, right? Don't you feel like the opportunities out there are huge? They're like huger than they've ever been, but like, don't you feel like we keep on doing less and less building, right? Our sprints seem to have fewer tickets that have us writing actual code. It's more than just a feeling. Get this, a recent study says that 50% of our time, developer's time, is spent on non-coding tasks. 50%, what are we even doing? What's happening? Do your daily stand-ups feel like this too? Hey, 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 how's that new feature coming along? I, I got some stuff written like we talked about, but it's a little embarrassing. I can't figure out where I need to put the code. This thing is so complex. Yeah, I'm still working on getting us some more head count. That, that team of specialists that you asked for. So how's the new deployments going? Ugh. I spent all day yesterday dealing with container orchestration. Our Kubernetes cluster decided to crash in the middle of the day and I had to manually restart everything. So another day where I didn't get to do anything that we planned. Things are looking healthy, but they did yesterday too. This application is so huge. Yikes. I'm sorry. It, Remember, we have to figure out how to scale to more regions. Oh, 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 that reminds me. The billing department reached out yesterday. We blew through our budget again this month. I'm looking for how to decrease the spend, but I'm worried that things are gonna get even more unstable like they did last time. Well, just a friendly reminder that we have a launch coming up. Did anybody at all get to write any code for this sprint? Oh, 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 I did. I, I mean, kinda. I updated the dependencies. Does that count? <laughs> and if you think about it, you can quickly see where that 50% of time is going. And honestly, our mission here at Cloudflare is to help build a better internet. We mean it. It's in our DNA. We want you to build. And it's hard for you to do that if you keep getting stuck. That's why we're always working towards giving builders fast, powerful, fun to use tools at costs that make every project worth the investment. We've taken a swing at some creative solutions that will most likely clear a good portion of these blockers that all of us devs have been experiencing. And we're always working on removing more blockers for you. If you haven't gotten the chance to check out the developer platform yet, <laughs> I think you're just gonna love it. Like no matter what stage you might be in on your project, we've got you covered. Uh, pardon my dork here, but I find this is the easiest way to explain things. Let's start with compute. We've got this super fast, secure global network why waste time trying to decide where on that network your compute needs to run? It just automatically runs from region Earth. We've got workers, pages, and queues. Workers allow you to run completely isolated code in a secure and trusted environment. They are immediately on, no cold boot, extremely fast, instantly scalable. The developer experience is such a breath of fresh air. You don't need to worry about region restrictions or costs or trying to guess where the best location is to run your workloads from. You just write code, deploy, done. Pages allow you to create web pages. You can host anything from simple static blogs to full stack serverless applications. They pair well with workers for building complex and well-designed applications. There are tons of starter templates from all the popular frameworks that you know and love. Pages provide partial deployments, allow you to collaborate and share previews, and have deep GitHub and GitLab integration. You just commit your code and boop, it's up and running for the world to see. Queues enable you to construct thoughtful applications. They help guarantee delivery, can offload work from a request by sending data from a worker to a worker. They are a powerful primitive that you have immediately available at your fingertips. Next, we have storage and data. So we have D1, KV, R2, durable objects, and hyperdrive. Databases are a key part of building any full stack application. So no worries, we got you. We have D1. 
Most teams I talk to say that their database implementations are a massive point of friction, slowing down their innovation. You and I both know that deploying and maintaining a database shouldn't take you longer than writing your application, but sometimes it does. D1 lets you build infinitely scalable, composable databases. It's serverless, so there's no excessive costs. You can be up and running within seconds, and with the feature that we call time travel, you can restore a D1 database to any minute within the last 30 days. No more backup operations for you to worry about either. Oh yeah, and if you already have an existing database, you should know about Hyperdrive. It accelerates your queries to your database, making it faster to access your data from across the globe. And get this, we just give you a connection string. You don't even need to change any existing code. It just works. Boom. And for your unstructured data storage needs, we also have something in store. You see what I did there? R2 is exactly what you need. It is an S3 compatible distributed object storage designed to eliminate the obstacles of sharing data across clouds. Zero egress bandwidth fees. It's so fast. Speaking of fast, we have KV, our key value store. It provides low latency, high throughput global storage for your apps. It's ideal for storing user configuration data, routing data, A-B test configurations, authentication tokens. It's killer for read-heavy workloads. Durable objects provide a powerful API for coordinating multiple clients or users, each with private, transactional, and strongly consistent storage attached. They're pretty magical, and our developers use them to build collaborative editing tools, interactive chat, multiplayer games, basically any app that needs to coordinate between multiple clients. And that means you don't need to build serialization or coordination code on your own. You're probably starting to see a theme here. We are building these common primitives for you, so you don't need to. We want to remove that friction for you. We want you to build. Here, let me introduce you to our media products. If visual experiences are at the heart of your application, you deserve to spend less time building image pipelines and instead more time focusing on your user's experience. With images, you can build an all-in-one image pipeline that scales infinitely. It's built with you, the builder, in mind. It has extensible APIs to ingest, optimize, store, and deliver images. It's super straightforward to rapidly create variations and optimize images on the fly. Stream lets you create your ideal video experience. Again, without having to start from scratch, you can upload, encode, and deliver high quality video on any device with no format, protocol, or encoding expertise required. Now, you can deliver exceptional live streaming experiences for any connection, device, or platform, all with low latency HLS. And, you can integrate it with any web or mobile video player or use the embedded web player. Calls can be used to add real-time audio, video, data into your applications. It uses WebRTC, which is the lowest latency way to communicate across platforms like browsers, mobile, and native apps. Calls integrates with your backend and frontend application to add real-time functionality. Of course, we know you're most likely thinking about how to integrate AI. We've been adding GPUs to our network to allow you to run inference where your users are. We host the model so you don't need to. We call it Workers AI. We have a large library of open models grouped by tasks like text generation, image generation, embedding models, speech to text. Basically, we have a ton of models for you to use. We've partnered with Hugging Face, the popular model platform. We also provide the ability to bring your own fine tunes. Vectorize is our globally distributed vector database, which allows you to index your data and include it in the context of your AI applications. It's fast, straightforward, and affordable. And look, we get it. This AI world is still unknown. It's always a little unnerving to deploy an AI app to production. How will people use it? And if you're using a closed state-of-the-art model, is this gonna break the bank? What if they like my product too much? We built AI Gateway so that you can observe traffic patterns, usage logs, and costs associated with AI APIs, not just ours. By providing visibility into how your apps are being used, you can detect malicious actors, improve performance with caching, 
It also allows for fallbacks. We give you the connection URL, you change one line in your existing code to make use of it. And blam, you get a whole bunch more insight and capabilities. We're built on open source and open source. Which makes code more portable. You can choose one or all of the products. And if you find a primitive that you feel is missing, please let us know. All of these building blocks and the ones that we have in development have been spawned by direct user feedback. We love it. And no matter where you are in your journey, we're here to help. Why don't we run an example? Now let's say that you're going to build a new e-commerce site. When you're just getting started, we have all the building blocks that you're gonna need. Let's see, we definitely need a website. So I'm going to bring in pages. And I know I am a big fan of Svelte because it helps me get started quickly. I'll need a database to keep track of a bunch of product inventory. So there's D1 that pops in there. And I'll probably have to do all sorts of image optimization. So I'm going to bring in images. I could even build the whole shipping infrastructure to connect the app to a large backend. That's probably some workers. And I'll definitely pass that through queues uh, for the orders. And I know we're just getting started, but we might as well add an AI assistant to help users order what they're looking for and notify us when we don't have what they want. This is a pretty common use case. So what I'll do is I'll use a worker for the API. And then I'll put workers AI for the latest large language model. And I'll create embeddings from all my product descriptions and I'll index them in vectorize. Then when a user makes a request, it'll pass the worker who will query vectorize and then add that context to the LLM inference call. And that is our working cat bot. I mean, chat bot. So obviously this is going to take off. And when it does, this is normally when you start needing to worry about scale. But guess what? You're already covered. Scaling is something you have to deal with no matter where you build, but it often eats up lots of time and money. We scale automatically. Every single one of these building block primitives scale, and they're usage-based, giving you more time, less worry, and of course, huge cost savings. But like, what if you get really big? You're probably gonna start coming under attack. But hey, we're still here. That's kind of what you knew us from before I started playing with these blocks. You're safe. You definitely can trust us for all your mission critical needs. And we have lots of examples like this, and we have a plethora of tutorials and guides and instructions. And if these type of instructions aren't your jam, we also have an ever-growing library of reference architecture diagrams that can help you see the bigger picture. If you're ever having a hard time figuring out which pieces to use or how to use them, please reach out. We love to help you build. It is, after all, our mission.